Hi everybody, we're going to do some maths now and we're going to start off with our flashback of four for our little warm up. So, how many sides does a hexagon have? Calculate the missing angle. Remember, it's 180 degrees. Take away what we know is what we don't know. Uh, what is the value of the one digit in this number? What is the difference in height between the tallest and the shortest person? So the difference. Have a think about what the difference is. Okay, I'm going to go pause the video, answer them. Okay, so you've unpaused the video and we're going to go through the answers. There's of course 6, hex 6. Missing angle is of course 18. Uh, 180, take away 162 is 18. The value of the 1 is 100 or 0 0.01. What is the difference in height? The difference in height is 0 0.21 metres or 21 centimetres. Well done if you got those. So this week in maths, we're going to be uh, looking at the properties of shape in an area called geometry. So geometry is looking at shapes and position and things like that. Uh, we're going to be identifying and exploring the features of triangles. Some of you may be familiar with that. So, just a quick recap. Can you work out this missing angle? Pause the video, give it a go. Okay, so let's have a look. We're doing uh, our 230. We're going to add 90 because of this as well. And then we're going to take the answer of that away from 360. So our answer is, of course, 40. Well done if you got that. So what is a polygon? That's, this is going to be really important because I'm going to say it quite a lot. A polygon is just any flat two-dimensional shape. So things like squares, circles, but not things like spheres and uh, cubes. So circles, ovals, ellipses, triangles, anything flat that has straight sides uh, and that is fully closed, as in all sides are joined. The sides must be straight polygons, and they may have any number of sides. So, here we have a polygon. It's a closed shape with straight sides. This is not a polygon. It is a closed shape, but it does not have straight sides. And here, it does have straight sides, but it is not a closed shape. Therefore, it is not a polygon. So it's a closed shape with straight sides. Regular and irregular polygons. So a regular polygon is a polygon in which all sides are of the same length. And therefore, they must have the same sized angles. All sides are the same length. All sides are the same length. Each one of these is 60 degrees. Each one of these is 90 degrees. They are regular. Regular is when they're all the same. Irregular is when the sides or angles are different lengths and different sizes. So this is an obtuse angle, whereas this is a, a ref, uh, not a reflex, sorry, it's an acute angle. Same here, we've got 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle here, an obtuse angle here, and a uh, acute angle here. Irregular over here, regular here. So have a look, there's some common uh, regular and irregular polygons. So the pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, decagon, nonagon, octagon. They're regular and irregular form. Now their regular form is not going to change, really. It may change in scale, but it won't change. But their regular form could be infinite. There's, there's so many different ways you can do their irregular form. So let's have a look at what a triangle is. A triangle is simply a polygon with three sides and three angles. But it's a 2D shape. We know it's a 2D shape because it's a polygon. Polygon, it has three sides and three angles. Remember, it has to be a closed shape as well. So here's the three different types of triangle. I will put this in the uh, comments. You can watch through it. Uh, it just sort of goes through what I'm about to say. And if I forget, I'm sure you'll remember. You will remind me. So we've got an equilateral triangle. The thing to math, math 
the think about here is equal. It's not quite equal, it's equal. Uh, has three equal sides and three equal angles. 30, that's uh, right, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. We have a scaling triangle. All three sides are unequal. I always think about this one as being not to scale. Scaling, not to scale. That, so A, B, and C are all different lengths. We have an isosceles triangle where two sides are equal. So it could also look like, imagine they're equal. Probably closer to a scaling, but imagine this one and this one are equal size. This one and this one are equal size as well. That's an isosceles. And then a right angle, of course, has a right angle. Four different types of triangle. So, different types of triangle, how they might look. It's not possible to have, uh, have a look at this. Just go through it. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Here we go. Match the properties of the triangles. Pause the video. Just draw a line or maybe call this A, B, C, and D. Pause the video and then I'll go for the answers. So we know this is an equilateral triangle and it has three equal sides, three equal angles. Well done if you got that. Next up we have a right angle triangle. Uh, has one right angle. Bingo. Interestingly, a scalene... You can get scaling uh, right angle triangles and isosceles right angle triangles. Uh, we have an isosceles triangle because this one and this one are the same length. We know they're the same length because of the lines. It's got one line. This has got one line on each. It means they're all the same. This has got three lines, two lines, one line. Isosceles. Uh, two equal sides and two equal angles. Of course, because these two are the same. This as this all the time. And finally, we have a scaling. Well done if you got those. So here's our work for today. What I want you to do, have a go at them, try your best. Uh, and if you want to create a picture with some triangles, that would be really interesting to see. So just a, a picture completely made up of triangles. Probably best to use a ruler. Uh, we've got our two uh, challenge and our three challenge. So I look forward to seeing what you come up with.